Hello. Welcome to a local rock talk. And we do have a special guest. And we have the Boston Dad. Hey, how are you, Falza? No problem. Doing good. Good. Good to hear. It's good to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming on. It's a pleasure. Yeah. All right. Um, I have this question. How did you come to be a Boston Dad? I got to tell you, it definitely was thanks to moving to Florida and uh, being there for a couple months. Uh, it was obvious that people had a hard time understanding the accent, uh, for sure. Um, I would say to the people, like for example, when I meet a business prospect, I'd say, let me go get you a card. And they'd say, a card? What's that? What do you mean? What did you just say? And uh, I'd realize after a little while I had an accent. I used to only think that people from the South had an accent, you know, Texas and things yeah. like that. I didn't realize that we had such a heavy accent. Um, but what really brought it home for me was I was at, um, I think it was Duncan's, and then I had asked for a uh, hearty blueberry. I think it was oatmeal or something like that at one point. And, uh, the guy was saying to me, he said, you know, you can't call the girl behind the counter. You can't call her a hottie. I mean, I said, excuse me, no, no. I said, can I have a hottie blueberry, H-E-A-R-T-Y. And he's like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. So I think he gave me a gift card after that or whatever. And I said, this is really funny. I said, I've never run into this because here living in New England, you know, forever and still going back and forth all the time, every month, every other month, you don't realize it because everybody, for the most part, sounds like you do. But when you go away and you meet people, especially in the Orlando area, it's a melting pot. They're from all over the place, LA too and Vegas. Um, you know, you realize you, real quick that you have an accent. So yeah. I said, this will make a great concept. So I said to uh, my wife and my kids, I said, let's do a skit. I said it at a place where we live called the Bark Park. So that's B-A-R-K, P-A-R-K. Uh, it's a little dog park where people walk their dogs. And I'll have my son try to pronounce that saying, let's see if you lost your accent. And he'll say Bark Park. And I'll say <laughs> Bark Park. So we did that one. It went over really well. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And then we started to do more. And people wanted more and more and more. And then it just ventured from there. It started with actual video skits, like three to four minute, five minute shot films. And then it became everything, like rants and things like that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Um Do you do any comedy? Do I? Well, I like to think that the, what we do with the Boston Dad, for the most part, other than um, the stuff that we do that's spiritually related, um, is all comedy. You know, it's all comedy right off the bat. If something happens, if something's relative, something in the world, something happens with the pats or the socks or whatever, we pretty much jump on it right there and then. And it always becomes comical because of the way that Boston Dad reacts to the situation. It's comedy because it's not always the way you would react in a typical situation. But growing up, I saw a lot of people react in ways that I found to be very comical or very funny, and I'm almost imitating that. So I'm putting myself in there, plus making it that much more passionate. And I think that's what sells Boston Dad and makes it comical, is the fire and the passion that goes behind what it is I'm talking about. All right. All right. Um do you have any acting skills? I'd like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Boston Dad isn't the first thing that, uh, that I've done by any means. We did a mafia movie that was actually a drama movie that I wrote and directed and co-produced. And I was one of the actors in that movie, one of the lead actors. Um, so that was all drama. There was no comedy in that at all. Um, so that was, that was definite acting. Um, and I, I've loved doing it ever since I was a kid. I loved doing it when I was a little kid, imitating scenes from the movie Scarface and, 
you know, in high school I took TV production. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I'd like to think I have acting skills. I want to check that movie out. That you should. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Let's hope Amazon sells that. Uh, I I think so. I believe so. If not, let me know and I'll send you to the right link. All right, cause I, cause there's only way I could do it if I do buy gift cards and stuff like that. Sure, but sure. I don't have credit cards. So I I, I don't blame can't you. Can't yeah. get the movie that yeah. way. So. No, you don't want a credit card. Unless you let me do the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out yeah. for sure. All right, that's good to know. Check out Boston Dad. Yes, please. Yeah, check out Boston Dad. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Yeah. All right, that's good. All right. Um, do you know any other YouTube people from YouTube and stuff? Do I? Yeah. Uh, you know what? When we started Boston Dad, it was pretty much all um, being put on YouTube and we just take it from YouTube and put it on Facebook. But now everybody does their own thing. So everybody like Facebook wants you to post directly onto Facebook for their video. Uh, Instagram wants you to do the same thing. YouTube does that. So we've kind of now taken on all three at this point. So I don't really link up with a lot of other YouTubers. Uh, I know other YouTubers, but I don't really link up with them so much, no. Because we're doing a lot of Facebook, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, now Facebook just started their own monetizing and things like that. If you have so many followers, which is great. And we do. We fall within that lines, which is a blessing. So that's awesome. So uh, we do all three. So, But, yeah, I know of them, but I don't work with any of them. Uh, well, well, I know I subscribe to you. Okay. I appreciate that. But I watch some other vid other YouTubers' mm -hmm. vehicle videos too. Oh, good. I watch um, Silly Super Pop. Okay, yeah. He, he does um, GGS wrestling. Yeah, yeah. He does funny wrestling sure. shows and sure. stuff. Yeah. So, um, so they're good. McJugger Nuggets. Yeah, okay. Does the Psycho Series and yeah. all that stuff. Okay. So, yeah. And, That's cool. Uh, and the Aiken Grandpa show. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he, he passed away, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I, I definitely know of that one. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Because I watch his videos, yeah. and, and his son pranks him a lot and stuff. Yeah. But his father does to him, too. Yeah. Yeah. We miss you, Aggie Grandpa, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. God rest his soul. And Michael Green, we're thinking about you. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So rest in peace, Aggie Grandpa. Yes. Indeed. All right. Yeah, because those are the channels I watch. I watch. Okay. So, so, so if you want to check them out, I'll just give you the links and stuff if you want to check them out. Yeah, yeah. You can message me. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll give you the links of their YouTube channels okay. and stuff. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. All right. So, good to know. How can people find you on social media? Uh, they can find me on social media by going to or looking up Boston Dad or The Boston Dad on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. It's on all three. So uh, and you'll get probably different videos on Facebook sometimes than you will get on YouTube. A lot of the YouTube ones are the longer yeah. ones and the Facebook ones, like if they're like one minute, two minutes, they're really quick. Uh, we'll throw those on Facebook, but we'll almost always cut a portion of those and put them on Instagram as well. Because you know Instagram video is only one minute. So YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, Boston Dad, or The Boston Dad. You'll recognize me. You'll recognize the family. Yep. Yeah. Like I recognize Like it. you recognize me. <laughs> and like I recognized you. Absolutely. Yep. We yes. never even met each other until Don't today. Don't have to. Yeah, social media now, you don't have to. You just, as soon as you see somebody there, you see them in person, you're like, boom, there they are. Yeah, like today. Like today, exactly. I also wanted to meet you before the show. Yeah. But cool. we're trying to figure that out, number. Yeah, and you, my mother's even here, God bless her. Yeah. Yeah, you should put her in chains like you did me. <laughs> She's the one who needs to be chained up, God bless her, yeah. All right, so... 
Okay, do you know any jokes? Uh, any jokes? Uh, none that I can think of off the top of my head. Most of the stuff, it's relative, meaning, um, I don't know, it's just right off the cusp. Um, if, some, if I'm doing a video about something, again, whether it's Patriots or the Red Sox or coffee or whatever the case may be, boom, it's just something I think of and then I just go for it. But if I'm out of the setting, um, I don't really, yeah, not so much. Yeah, it, they, so it's a little different. I'm a writer. Yeah. So I, a lot of the stuff I write, even if I write it here, but I'm in the, if I'm in that setting, it's a character. It's a lot of me, but it's also, again, uh, it's a character as well. So right now you're getting me, yeah. yeah, which is cool. But it's a portion of the Boston dad. Yeah. yeah so you're getting the bipolar me. It's perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, when you travel, where do you go? Oh, well, you know what? When we used to live out in the West Coast, I used to go back and forth between here and L.A. or here and Vegas. Uh, now most of my traveling is uh, from the Orlando area to here, back and forth. And as people could probably tell, or they get confused quite a bit, like, where do you live? Where are you? When do you we can't tell if you're here or there or whatever. So um, it's usually between Florida and uh, here for the most part. But uh, prayerfully, I, I'd love to travel back to the West Coast uh, again very soon. I love it. I mean, any actor, any director, any writer, anyone who's in the music or film business really has a love for the L.A. Um, area because it's where that is all taking place. We were in L.A. in February. It was really cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um... What kind of videos you do? What kind of videos do I do? Um, I do a lot of comedy. And um, again, it's really your comedy done with a Boston accent, comedy done with a Boston flavor. And uh, it's everything. It's everything from sports to weather. People really love the weather ones. They really do. They really get a kick out of that, which I think is great. I have a lot of fun doing them. The ones... Uh, you don't know, talking about the bipolar New England weather, people do really well, people love that. Again, because they relate to it. A key to successful video uh, is doing something that is relative in the world. I think people will really tie into that. A lot of people have tried to get me to do political videos, I will not. Um, but I also do commercials for businesses as well. So a lot of people will hire me to come up with very creative ideas for their commercial, something that's entertaining not just your point and shoot uh, type thing where you don't know, you'll see the store, but something where it has a very funny original concept. So businesses will actually hire me to do that as well, and I'll take that from start to finish. And um, I do drama type films as well, short films. I did one on human trafficking uh, that did very, very well. Uh, actually, it went almost two million hits on YouTube and was shown around the world. And uh, I do also spiritual videos as well. I love to motivate other people. That's huge for me. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a real crossroad. But the Boston Dad it has done very, very well. And I'm glad people enjoy it, you know, because we enjoy doing it. Yeah. So please subscribe to the Boston Dad on YouTube. Yes, subscribe. Give support. You got it. Subscribe on YouTube, follow a like on Instagram, uh, or, you know, follow and like also on Facebook. Yes. So make sure you do that. Please. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have, so. Okay, I love it. Good questions. Yeah. So anyways, like I said, just support Boston Dad. Yes. Yeah, support Boston Dad. Definitely. Yep. So, um, I said we have good time talking, yeah. questions, stuff like that. I knew we would. I knew we did. I knew we would. I love your show. I love what you do. That's awesome. Great stuff. I love local rock talk. Yes. I knew you liked the page, too. Yes, of course. What's not to like about it? It's great stuff, as are you. That's right. Yes. And HCTV. We love it. Yep. All right. So, that's it for that. That's it for this episode now.
Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get up because I'm all chained down. That's the only <laughs> thing. But uh, it's all good. I'll figure it out. Like the Hulk, I'll break free. <laughs> yes. So, anyways, that's it for this episode for Local Rock Talk. It, thanks for Boston coming on. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. All right. Until next time, keep on rocking. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zabrilli. Until next time, keep on rocking. Hello, this is the host of Local Rock Talk. Gonna have a float in the print this year. So check it out and rock on!